Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty and let's go outside. It's a beautiful day here in, well, wherever we are. <laughs> I haven't thought of a name for the town yet, but uh, I'm not sure you can actually name your town. But um, we have things to finish off. You can see this field needs finishing off. Um, and I'll just show you what I've got in stock at the moment. All this stuff here. I've got cabbage seeds. I've got this many coins. I've got a copper axe. And this stuff that I've found, like this hot plant seedling. I've got all this leather and manure as well. So first of all, I think I need to go and make some fertilizer because I would like to get this field finished. It's just bothering me that um, it's nearly prepared and then I have to put the cabbage seeds in it. So let's get some fertilizer from, yeah, from manure. That's all we need, it's 15. And then there's various other things to do. I'd like to put two more fields down here. And also you can see in the top right there, chapter four, Into the Wilderness. Hunt boar fox, and that would mean that, let's have a look at it, yeah, into the wilderness, it will give us 120 dynasty reputation, and I thought that it would give us more, uh, we, could, we could build more buildings basically on here, but uh, I'm not sure about that. So let's go to this field and try and finish it. Now there was... I uh, keep, <laughs> I keep trying to go fast. When I do, I punch like this. So if I'm punching, it means I'm trying to go faster. But it's the wrong. It's I'm so used to farming simulator. So let's get a bag, and let's put down here fertilizer. All right, I'll just do this, and then I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so. Um, what we need to do now is get our hoe just here and hoe it in and then the field is finally prepared after oh it seems to have taken us well it's taken us over half the summer to get the field to this point you can see at the top there let's go to first per, uh, third person it's taken us over half the summer but not to worry because as soon as we put as soon as we put the oh great as <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a bit confused. Um, as soon as we put the cabbage seeds in, well, next season they will be turning into cabbages anyway. So let's, let's, uh, what do we need now? A hoe. Yeah, let's make a hoe. Yeah, so as we can put them in like at the last day of summer and they'll, they'll still, it's still the first thing in the autumn. We'll have a, a field full of cabbages. So that's... That's not nothing to worry about. So, let's get this finished. And what I'm going to do now is go into first person and start here, I think. Get my simple bag again. Uh, yeah, here. And what we want to put in is cabbages. Just here. So, I think what I'll do now is a bit of a, a medieval time lapse because, because I would like to get the cabbages put in early as possible and I'd like to do it now so I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so two simple bags later, and I planted the whole field with cabbage, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is what I've been trying to do since, well, the start of summer, basically. Now, I'd like to put another field in over here. Oh, I'm trying to go, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to go fast again. And also, at the end of the last episode, I picked up a load of berries and I put them down here. And in the autumn, they will turn into rot and we'll have some. Um, some fertilizer so if I show you on the map actually what where I'd like to put the yeah if we zoom in so we have the field here I'd like to put an, two more fields one here this 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 way and another one here and the fields are always put like square sort of north north to south or east to west kind of thing so if I try and well I'll pick up a few stones first so they don't get wasted when I when I create the field 
Um, if I go, oh, actually, let me just pick things up first. Okay, I think that's okay. Um, I'll just make sure I'm not too near the. No, I'm not too near the the path here because we can still put up, like, eventually put a wall around our village. But I wanted to have a new field here, so this is fine. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do anything now. It, the, it looks like the sun is going down. What I'd like to do actually is go and try and finish off this chapter into the wilderness. Hunt boar fox. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Quest completed. Do you know, I think I'm starting to enjoy hunting a little bit more, which is a bit worrying. <laughs> anyway. Oh, so new quest, a farm. A farm, wooden hoe, simple bag. That's easy to do. Uh, let's uh, just get back. Um, now, I can't think where to go. Just up here. Okay, I, I need to put a mark down because I'm. it's a bit confusing in, in the forest. I need to make sure I'm not chased by any beasties. So, I've... Yeah, okay, oh, I'll see you back at the farm anyway. <laughs> I feel like the sun is going down already. It's been an incredibly short day. Um, what is the time now? I haven't got my digital watch on. 7.35, so I'm allowed to go to bed now. So um, I haven't. I feel like I haven't done very much today. Um, now, I did say in the last episode that I wanted to put down a sewing hut, and the reason for that is I'd like to make a bow and arrow because I find it's not very precise um, science hunting with a, a spear at the moment because I can't seem to get two spears away to kill a beast. I have to th I throw one and then finish it off with an axe. So the sewing help will help us make a bow and arrow. I'll make a bow and arrow in here, I think. If I go in here, actually, let's just have a look at the crafting table. Craft, yeah, bow and arrow. So we need, for this, linen thread so for the linen thread we need a sewing hut and we can't actually get a sewing hut at the moment let's just see how far away we are technology sewing hut we need a hundred points and we've got 88.56 points okay so we're nearly there actually but anyway i'll see you in the morning when we'll have more fun and games so see you in the morning okay i think what i'd like to do first of all now is to get this a farm chapter finished off because that's just easy to do so let's just make a simple bag and let's make a wooden hoe Merchant locations. Many kind of specialised merchants. Do not hesitate to ask your neighbours for help. Okay, I did know that. So, oh, there's more to come. Okay, so it's not just making those things. It's getting these, either buying or making these things. Okay, so, um, well, we already have the cabbage seeds. Um, now, I'm thinking to do, there's like another quest that I have here that's been bothering me. Unigo's story. Talk to Sambor. Um... I think I might go and do that now, actually. Sambor is up. Well, let's just put him... Let's just do this, and then we can see where he is. Well, it doesn't show on the map, but he's kind of up here somewhere. So I need to make sure I've got some food and, food and water. Uh, I'll just go and have a quick drink. That's fine, and I'd like to go and see Sambo because I think it might um, develop my character a little bit. Um, I think there's things to do with Sambo that will develop my character, and I'll also do a bit of crafting along the way and see if we can get the sewing hut. So I'll see you when I get to Sambo's house. It is a flipping long way to Sambo's house. I am here, I'll show you on the map, I'm just here. Where, yeah, th here. And But one good thing is that uh, in technology, the sewing hut is almost attainable. Look, 98.19 points. In the bottom left, you can see that, of 100 points, because I've crafted some stone knives on the way here, about 15 stone knives. So anyway, let's go and see Sambor. I, I think I'm going to paraphrase this. So I'm going to see what he has to say, and I'll just tell you, I'll tell you what he says at the end. So let's talk to Sambor.
Okay, so he was talking about Unigost who got ripped off for doing a, some service to a lord and uh, uh, it was a long, tedious tale. And now I have to go and dig up some clay. So let's go over here. And I wanted to do this because there are some little figures here to to collect and it, they might be good for giving to kids and stuff like that so anyway let's um get our wooden shovel what do we need to do now clay five okay hello sambo Okay, so it was a long, tedious story. Some of these stories at the start of this game are just... They just go on and on. It was about a guy who disguised himself and went and had relations with the Queen and then he got, then he got found out and then I, I just lost interest in the middle of it. But I did get 60 reputations. So uh, what do I have to do now? Dis di deliver the knuckle sandwich to Unigos. Now if I do that, that means go into Gostovia and I can do the chapters there. The fertilizer, carrot seed, wheat grain and cabbage seed. So I'm going to see if I can get to Gostovia before the sun goes down. <laughs> I'll see you hopefully when I get there. Okay, here, here I am at Gostovia, but the first thing I want to do is not see Unigos, but go and see the guy about the cabbage seeds. And he's over, I think, in here. I might be too late. If I am, that will be annoying. <laughs> so, let's see Edward. How are you? Show me Only your wares. Okay, I need to sell him all my stone knives. And then I need to buy some fertilizer. 15, I think. And what, do, what else do I need to do? Carrot seed, wheat grain, and cabbage seed. Carrot seed, wheat grain, and cabbage seed. How are you? My wares uh, never disappoint. Carrot disappointed. seed. Cabbage seed. And wheat grain. Goodbye. Thanks. I think I've... Oh, look at that. I thought I'd finished. Now I have to grub up the field, fertilise the field, plough the field and sow the field. But that's quite good because we've got a new field we can um, do all that stuff with. So, where is Unigost? Here he is. Okay, so... <laughs> so, oh, this is very, very drawn out stuff here. Um, so, uh, Sambor's a soldier. They got tortured. When they managed to escape, he's never been the same since, and he's got a heart of gold, basically. Sorry. So, now I have to go and get the scythe from Ida, which I don't think I can do today because the sun is going down. I, I'm not sure I can, anyway. I have to go to borrow it. Let's, let's try and do it, actually. I'll, I'll run and see if I can... Uh, I, I know I've got some riddles to solve, so I'll see if I can find uh, find Ida. Okay, so Ida is... Is this Ida? This is Ida. I'm here for Unigos Scythe. Yeah, okay. He wants me to get his scythe back. What's the game? How is it played? Tell you three riddles, you must answer them correctly. Yeah, hit me with the riddles. Now, I've done this before and I, I, I'm not sure I can, I can uh, remember all the correct answers, but I'll have a go. What disappears the second you say its name? Oh, that's... Sci this reminds me of Monty Python and the Holy Grail, where uh, you probably know the bit. Okay, ready for the next one? Here it is. Feed me and I live. Give me a drink and I die. What am I? Must be fire, mustn't it? Uh, I, ha I fly but have no wings. I cry but have no eyes. Whatever I do, darkness follows me. I'm a cloud. I'm absolutely sure of that. Very good. You win an old man's crappy side. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. Okay, I had fun. I did have some fun.
And my, my reputation changed, so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead with Ida. And it's getting dark, but I'll see if I can find Unigos to give him his scythe back. So Unigost is... That's not Unigost. Oh, here. Got your scythe. Not at all. Oh, I'm not Sambor again. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Alright, I'll just paraphrase this a little bit. Oh, all done. Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to go and see Sambor at the moment. I'm going to go home and go to bed, because... Right, I wasn't paying attention there. I just want to check to see if our technology has moved ahead and if I can make now the sewing hut. Oh, I'm so close. Okay, I'm going to go home. I'll see you back at the house. It has just taken me so long to get home. Honestly, it's unbelievable how long it's taken me. I've taken that sandbox quest off of main quests now. I'm going to maybe give that a bit of a rest because it's just a little bit annoying, that's all. Um, I think that it's the last day of summer today and tomorrow it will be autumn, obviously. And we should have a whole field full of cabbages here. So before I go to bed, I just want to show you something. The technology, the sewing hut here, I need 100 points and I'm on 98.19. It does say on the right hand side, develop this technology by crafting items and cooking. So I'm going to go in my in here and light the fire and then craft and do some cooking because I've got 1949 meat and I'm going to cook them all and see then if I'm able to, to build the sewing hut and make a bow and arrow. Yeah, look at that. Sewing hut unlocked at last. Well, it's a bit late now to build a sewing hut, but anyway, I'll see you in the I'll see you in the autumn. Oh, wow, the autumn. Let's have a look at our cabbages. Look at all those cabbages. And um has that stuff turned to rot out here? Yeah, rot. Look at that. So, I think the first thing I'd like to do, do you know what, I think I'll, I will make some um, uh, fertiliser with this rot. Uh, how much can I make? I think it's about 100. 101. Okay, so now we can do the bit of a chapter which says fertilize the, fertilize the field. So I think what I'd like to do is build the sewing hut straight away because I've been wanting to do that for ages. But where to put it? Let's just have a little look around and decide where to put it. I think I'll put it the other side of this field here because things are so higgledy-piggledy over this side. I might just have to write these ones off. I'm not going to um, replace them or anything. But um, I'm just going to try and put the sewing hut really tidily and square at the side of this field here. So if I go into, um, what is it now, buildings, is it production? And it's the sewing hut here. So if I can get this kind of square to the field, like this, and then just go back a little bit. And just here, I think. Okay, that doesn't look too higgledy-piggledy, and it's kind of parallel with the field. All right, so... Oh, a parasol mushroom. <laughs> so let's get me big hammer out. And what do I need? Probably stones. All right, let's go and find some stones. I finished it look at that fantastic so now 
My primary objective is to make a bow and arrow before the end of the episode. Let's go and find out what we need for the bow and arrow because we make the bow and arrow in here. Um, so if I go to the workbench, I need linen thread. So let's go and find my, my linen, uh, whatever it's called. Not linen, whatever it's called, flax stalk. I need all my flax stalk and we need to go make linen thread with flax stalk. Now how on earth do we do that? <laughs> let's go let's go here. I think we do it with this spinning wheel here. So I have flax stalk and I need to make is not unlocked. Okay, let's go to technology and go to sewing hut and go to linen thread. How much money have we got? I can't even see how much money we've got, but we need linen thread. So we'll buy that and I think we're going to need linen fabric as well. So that's 50. So I'll buy that. Okay, so I need linen thread. So let's go to linen thread and I will craft. I'm not sure how many I need. I'll just craft, craft five for the moment. That is very, I like that. That is very satisfying to me to do that. Uh, I might take that up in real life. So now we've got the linen thread. Um, is that what we need? Can we can we now make a bow and arrow? Let's go and have a look. Yes. But we also need to make arrows. So stone arrows, uh, stick stone, Okay, what about these arrows here? Wooden bolt. Um, scheme is not unlocked. Does that... Um, I'm just thinking a wooden bolt. No, let's make some stone arrows. We've got all the resources for it, so I'd like to do that. So how many arrows does that give me? Ten stone arrows. So to make more, I need more feathers and more sticks. Do you know what? I might go and get more feathers and more sticks. All right, so I've collected more feathers and more sticks, and let's let's try and make some more stone arrows. Uh, craft more, yeah, I'll do. We'll make thirty stone arrows because I'm bound to <laughs> need them. Um, so if I go into my inventory now and I go to this, I will equip the bow in here, and you know what I think I'll do just to end the episode. Uh, so I'll try and go and shoot something with a bow. So I'll I'll see you in the forest. Well, it wasn't a one-shot kill. Um, I, I was hoping it would be a one-shot kill, but it wasn't. It was a two-shot kill this time instead of um, a one-shot kill. So I'll just uh, get some leather and meat from this from this boar. Um, I'm, I'm worried about how much I'm starting to enjoy hunting. And I think that's all I can do for this episode. I'm just going to go home. And next time we will have to grub up the field that we made today which is I can't even see where it is now but it's over here and uh, make a field and we'll get all those rewards chapter five of farm we've got we ha have all the stuff to do now grub up the field fertilize the field plow the field and sow the field and we're going to do it right here I'm, I'm going to plant rye uh, because it's autumn so thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the episode please like and subscribe and bye for now